In this first video for geometry of straight lines grade 8, we're going to have a look at all the different types of angles. We're going to start off by having a look at the names of different angles. When we measure an angle and it is between 0 and 90 degrees, we call it an acute angle. As soon as it is exactly 90 degrees, it is called a right angle. And then when it is bigger than 90 but smaller than 180 degrees, we call it an obtuse angle. Measuring an angle that lies on a straight line is exactly 180 degrees and is called a straight angle. Increasing the angle even more is called a reflex angle up to 360 degrees, which is then a revolution. Next, we're going to have a look at a few terms that are used for angles. First off, you need to know what adjacent angles are. Adjacent angles firstly have a common vertex or common point, and in this case that would be point B. Then it also has a common arm or line, which means that we can say for our sketch angle B1 and B2 are adjacent angles. Angle B2 is also adjacent to angle B3. But angle B1 and B3 are not adjacent because there's no common arm. Just a reminder that angles can be named in different ways in geometry. Here we cannot simply talk about angle B because there are three different angles at vertex B. So we can choose to say angle B1 or angle EBA when we want to talk about the angle on the left. The next definition that you need to know is that of complementary angles. Two angles that add up to 90 degrees are called complementary angles. So as an example, in our sketch, we have adjacent complementary angles because we know that angle G1 and G2 together form 90 degrees and they are adjacent to each other. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Here we have two angles on a straight line. So we know that angle K1 plus K2 will equal 180 degrees, which means they are adjacent supplementary angles. Example 1. Name all the complementary angles in the sketch. Remember that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees and in our sketch the first pair is quite easy to see because they are also adjacent angles. These two angles are the two at point C. So we can say that angle C1 and angle C2 are complementary angles because 30 degrees plus 60 degrees will give us 90 degrees. Then you will see that angle B1 is also 60 degrees. This means that angle C1 and angle B1 are also complementary because we still have 30 degrees plus 60 degrees which is 90 degrees. So even though these two angles are not adjacent they are still complementary. Question B. Name all the supplementary angles. So here we know that supplementary means two angles adding up to 180 and I'm going to start with the two angles at point B. So angle B1 and angle B2 are supplementary because 60 degrees plus 120 degrees will give us 180. Similarly we can take the 120 from angle B2 and add angle C to 60 degrees to also get 180 which means that B2 and C2 are also supplementary. Again, these two are not adjacent supplementary angles, but still supplementary. And finally, you will see that angle A is 70 degrees and angle E is 110 degrees also add up to 180, which means they are supplementary angles. Example 2. Give the complement adding up to 90 degrees and the supplement adding up to 180 degrees of 48. The complement of a number 
is the value added to it, which will give us 90 degrees. So that means we need to determine the difference between 90 and 48, which will give us 42 degrees. This means that 42 plus 48 will give us 90 degrees. Similarly, determining the supplement means we will take 180 degrees and subtract the given 48, so the supplement is 132 degrees. Question B. Give the complement and the supplement of 2x plus 30. In this case, our basic concepts stay the same, but we'll have an abstract answer because of the variable. To determine the complement, we are still going to take 90 degrees and subtract the given angle. And here it's important to put that angle in a bracket because you need to subtract more than one term. So this means we need to subtract 2x and subtract 30 degrees. And here we have 90 minus 30. So my final complement answer is 60 degrees minus 2x. And once again, to determine the supplement, we are going to take 180 degrees and subtract the angle written in brackets. So we have 180 degrees minus 2x minus 30, which will now give us 150 minus 2x. You can always test your answer. If you take the original angle of 2x plus 30 degrees, and you add its supplement of 150 degrees minus 2x, you will see that 2x minus 2x is 0x's, and 30 plus 150 will give you the 180 degrees.